It may be hard to imagine, but according to the World Health Organization, approximately one million people die by suicide each year. Of these one million lives lost to suicide in the world each year, more than 28,000 live in the United States. Suicide claims the lives of more than 75 Americans each day, or one person every 18 minutes. This death rate is equivalent to a commercial airliner filled with Americans crashing every other day with all lives lost. And for every life lost to suicide, dozens of people attempt suicide, often causing serious medical injury or even lifelong disability. From another perspective, imagine that every 18 minutes, an American family member loses a loved one to suicide. If an average of six family members are touched by suicide each time someone dies by suicide, then each year more than 150,000 Americans experience the awful psychological and emotional aftermath of suicide. Friends, schoolmates, colleagues, co-workers, many millions of us are touched by suicide. Since 1970, more than five million Americans have lost a blood relative to suicide. Many of these deaths occur among our children, children younger than 12 years old. And many more of them are teenagers or young adults just as they begin their lives as college students, servicemen and women, or enter the workforce. According to the Youth Risk Survey conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 25% of American youth report seriously considering suicide. Yet the highest suicide rate occurs among our oldest citizens. You may ask, what is happening? Why are so many people dying by suicide? Suicide is not a new problem. Suicide is as old as mankind. But suicide is now preventable. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, 90% of Americans who die by suicide are suffering from clinical depression or some other diagnosable psychiatric illness or a substance abuse disorder. Please note, these are treatable medical conditions and lives can be saved.